This is Jeff Corhan. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to set up Dropbox and use it to increase your productivity and, as they say at Dropbox, to simplify your life. So step number one is to click on the link with the article associated with this video, and that will take you to where we are now, which is the Dropbox website, and create your personal account. That's step number one. Step number two, then, is to download the Dropbox application to your computer and your various mobile devices. This is the part where I find, having helped some people get started, that they get confused about where their documents are located. Well, they're in a variety of places. They're on your respective computing devices via the Dropbox application, but then they are also encrypted and located on your account on the web, which of course is what facilitates the synchronization of those documents. Now, after you download the Dropbox application, it will place a little icon here on your computer. It'll be in a different place, whether you're on a Mac or a PC. If you can see it, it is a blue box. I'm clicking on that, and it presents me with a number of options, one of which is to go directly to the Dropbox website or to open the Dropbox folder. And I can accomplish the same activities within either space, but by clicking on the folder, it takes me to my hard drive space on my computer and so we can see that my documents are located here which they are but they're also instantaneously being synchronized to that space on the web which is what again facilitates the synchronization across various mobile devices and then also sharing with people that you've decided to share your folders with. So I've opened up the uh, one particular folder here and I want to pull this aside and show you how easy it is to bring documents into these folders. I'm simply dragging it in from my desktop. You'll see a blue little button there it becomes a green check mark. That means it's synchronized. So it's synchronized with my devices and with anybody that I may have shared that folder with. And how do I share the folder? Pretty simply, I click on this link where I can then get a link to share that folder with anybody, regardless of whether they're using Dropbox or not, or I can share the folder with somebody using Dropbox, and it'll go within their personal Dropbox folder. So I've clicked on that button, it takes me to the web, I put their email address in here, I send them a message, and when they click on their end, everything will be synchronized. One of the, I think, most powerful uses of Dropbox is sharing of photos. So let's go to a photo upload folder here and click on the sample folder that they give you. On the computer you have these photos but if you're on a mobile device like an iPad you can easily scroll through these photos and it's a very efficient way of making a presentation on the fly to share photos or documents with anybody that you may want to be sharing that information with, such as a prospect or a customer. So that's all there is to it. Welcome to cloud computing and good luck with Dropbox.